Today, a suspected bank robber accused of leading police on this chase down I-85. We caught part of it on our DOT camera today. Moments later, Chopper 9 Sky Zoom was overhead, and we got there just after an officer in an unmarked cruiser brought this chase to an end. You can see the suspect being taken away on a stretcher after that crash. Now, Channel 9's Ken Lemon is outside of the bank where this all started. Police say with that robbery along Oakdale Road in Northwest Charlotte. Ken? Yeah, and police have released very de few details about the robbery here. We do know this started when someone triggered an alarm on the inside of the bank, and police were able to get enough information to quickly get behind their suspect. That's him in handcuffs at I-85 and Billy Graham shortly after noon. The wild ride over, but likely not the way this bank robbery suspect expected. He was placed on a stretcher, wheeled to an ambulance, and eventually will be brought to jail. Police say it started at this Fifth Third Bank on Oakdale Road. The suspect reportedly had a weapon when he came in this morning. We saw a crime scene investigator dusting for fingerprints on the door. That's usually one of the few clues police have for a suspect. Not this time. DOT cameras capture the white getaway car getting off of I-85 at the exit for Billy Graham Parkway. That's about a 13-minute drive and seven miles away from the bank. The car was closely tailgating a van. It didn't go much farther than this. From Chopper 9 Sky Zoom, we got a hint of how it ended on that same off-ramp. The white car nose to nose with what looks like a black police car. The driver's side window is shattered. The suspect was able to stand on his own, but still needed to be checked out. And police are still completing the incident report behind this. Once it becomes available, we'll get that information, bring it to you, including details about the person arrested in this case, Scott. All right, Ken Lemon live tonight. Thank you, Ken.